Lights are out. Green flag racing this time by. Tanner and Gibson get together. Gibson gathers it up, but not before he smacks the wall with a quarter panel. Able to keep moving. And a spin by Danny Holt gets collected by a couple of cars back there. Jordan Grabowski lights him up as he comes off the top of turn four. Heads down the back stretch, got a, quite a lead, and another spin here by the 54 machine of Ricky Tanner at the top of turn two. So far, the car's not moving. Caution flag comes out. To the cone, single file, no passing before the cone. So it's Grabowski, Shepard, Alverson, and the 14J of Jeff Jones. Jordan loves to use the top side of number one, cut down across the face of turn two and down the back stretch. Does that every time he gets here. Again, swings it high through three, and then he'll cut it down across the face of four and run out the bottom of turn four. Battle for second spot here, the 14J of Jeff Jones and the 52 of Cliff Shepard. Jones makes the pass as they enter turn three. What Jordan does is he kind of diamonds the corners here at Thunder Hill Speedway, makes it one turn, drives it way deep into one, does the same thing down in three, drives it way deep down in there, and then cuts the car across the face of turn four, makes one turn out of it instead of two. Still Jordan Grabowski out front, now in second spot, trying to reel him in is the 14J of Jeff Jones. One more trip around Thunder Hill Speedway for Jordan Grabowski. And Jordan picks up a heat race win here at Thunder Hill Speedway. Jeff Jones in second, the 14J. Cliff Shepard in the 52-2. Melvin Bailey leads the field into turn one. They're three wide now through one and two. Corey Birch down on the bottom. Tim Umshide on the top. Now they'll stretch out into single foul. Birch looking to the bottom here. As they run through three and four. Now Corey Birch at the point. Here comes Tom Charles at the bottom and bringing with him Justin Becker. They both get by the 27T of Tim Umshide. Still Corey Birch using the top side of Thunder Hill Speedway, trying to use the same line that Grabowski used. In second spot in the 81, that's Tom Charles. Now in third, the 70 machine of Justin Becker. But here comes Randy Wilson as he runs side by side with Becker through three and four. And a spin right here on turn four. That's Clay Hale in the 22H. Caution on the speedway. Tom Charles, Justin Becker, Randy Wilson, Richard Spriggs. Charles looks to the bottom of Thunder Hill Speedway, gets a nose down there right beside Birch, see if he gets a run on him off of turn two. Birch trying to pull way down the backstretch, but Charles able to stay right there with him. 
Charles again on the bottom. Birch about halfway up the racetrack. Side by side as they come down the front stretch. Still Charles using the bottom, using that crate engine horsepower off the bottom of Thunder Hill Speedway, trying to make a pass and does as they head down the back stretch. So it's Charles now at the bottom, at the lead of this. Birch trying to find a different line here. Now looks to the bottom to make that pass back as they come down the front stretch. Almost side by side at the flag stand. Charles shuts the door as they run through one and two. Birch slides back just a little bit. Charles tries to open the door a little bit further as he head extends his lead to head down to turn three again, do it all over. Charles still down at the bottom of Thunder Hill Speedway. I talked to Dee earlier tonight, said Tom worked on that thing, added some springs, did this or that or something else, just shook her head, said he threw more money at it. But here he comes, one more trip around Thunder Hill Speedway in the 81, that's Tom Charles. win, Tom Charles in the 81, followed by Corey Birch in the 747, Justin Becker, Randy Wilson, Richard Spriggs, IMCA modified division, Jeffrey Boyd, the 23, going to lead the field around out of turn four, drops the hammer here at the Ute Tire, and we are underway. <laughs> 392 slides high, there. that's Blake Peeler, but out front now in the 91, Shane Eagle. Anthony Tanner at the bottom. Riggle goes clear to the top of Thunder Hill Speedway. Not the fastest way around the racetrack. Slides back a couple positions. Now at the point in the 7 machine, that's Anthony Tanner. But here comes the 75 of Kyle Oberding. Three wide as they head down into turn three. Oberding on the bottom. Tanner in the middle. Peeler on the top side. There's your new leader as they head into turn one. The 75 machine, Kyle Oberding. Now down at the bottom again in the 178 now, trying to make it three wide as they head down the back stretch. That's Alan Halderman. Here comes the 20 machine, trying to put some pressure in that. Shea Woods trying to get involved in this as well. So it's Oberding in the 75, right beside him in the 178. That's Alan Halderman. Hellerman's had some engine problems earlier this year. Finally got some of those fixed up. Really flexing some muscle here early on in this heat race. Almost side by side at the flag stand. Now Halderman clear at the bottom of Thunder Hill Speedway. Gets a run off of turn two and leads by a nose as he head down the back stretch. Now Alan Halderman's out front. Alderman's using the bottom, the 75 of Kyle Oberding about half a car up. Here comes the M80 now of Matt Stahlbarmer as he gets to the back bumper of the Kyle Oberding machine. Stahlbarmer dives to the bottom as he comes off a of turn four and makes the pass on Kyle. So it's Alderman out front, the 178. The M80 of Matt Stahlbarmer now runs in second. A little bit of smoke trailing out of the back of that 75 machine. One more trip around Thunder Hill Speedway. Right now at the point, that's Alan Halderman in the 178. Probably can on the back corner of that. They've worked hard on that car this year. Alan Halderman comes the checkered flag. Matt Stahlbomber in second. Shane Woods in third. 